This video, we're going to be tackling the leak code question, best time to buy and sell stock part two. And before I get started, this description sounds very confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. Leak code does this on purpose. They're trying to make you panic whenever you read it. So we'll break it down step by step. And once we break it down step by step, I guarantee you, you'll find it pretty simple. So first part, you're given an integer array prices where prices I is the price of a given stock on the ith day. Basically what's, what this means is that leak code's going to give you an array and each number in this array indicates a price on a given day. So first day, the stock price is going to be $7. Second day, the price is going to be $1 and so on. And we can kind of visualize this on a bar chart, just like you would see on any other type of Robinhood app. First day, price is $7, one, five, three, six, four. Pretty intuitive, not that complicated. On each day, you may decide to buy and or sell the stock. This is kind of confusing. Once again, this is just kind of there to confuse you. Obviously, if you own a stock, you can sell it on any day that you want to. You can only hold at most one share of stock at any given time. This sounds confusing, but this is actually a good thing because if we had more than one stock in this question, it would make the question infinitely more complex. So just the fact that we only have one stock to work with is actually a really good thing. And the last part, however, you can buy it, then immediately sell it on the same day. And this doesn't really make that much sense because if each element in the array is indicative of a day, it doesn't really make that much sense that we would sell it within the same exact day. So I don't know why they put it there, probably just to confuse you. And finally, the last part, find and return the maximum profit that you can achieve. Now here's where things start to get interesting. All that, we're, all that we want to do is calculate our maximum profit. And it kind of makes sense that if you want to profit from selling a stock, you want to sell it when the stock price goes up. So all that we're going to do is we're just going to iterate through an array. This little box here is just a representation of iteration. And we're just going to check the day. So is uh, one, one is less than seven. So we don't want to sell the stock on that day because obviously we would sell it at a loss. So there would no, there would be no profit there. Then we're going to go to the, then we're going to compare the next days. Is five greater than one? Obviously it is. So we wouldn't make a profit on that day. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the difference and add it to a variable or some type of state in, in your algorithm, but we'll just store it inside of just a regular variable. Next day. Uh, three is less than five. We don't want to sell it on that day, obviously, because we would be selling it at a loss. Six is greater than three. We want to take the difference because we made a profit on that day and we're going to add it to our variable. Four is less than six. We didn't make a profit on that day, so we're not going to sell, we're not going to add it to our profit. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code and let's code this algorithm up. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you're working in JavaScript, you could just go ahead, throw everything in one file. But since I'm working in something object oriented, I'm just going to make a separate class because I think it makes things look better. And let's just go ahead and type out the method and talk about it a little bit. So we're going to be returning the int. We want to return the maximum stock price. That's exactly what LeetCode wants. And the actual name of the variable inside of LeetCode is, is uh, max profit. And what we're going to take in is an integer array. And this is going to be the stock prices like we talked about before. Next thing that we're going to do is first, we need to keep track of our stock prices, remember, or our max profit. If we're going to be tracking the profit, we need to store it in the form of state. You could literally store it in anything that you want to, but I'm just gonna go into here and I'm gonna call this max profit. Um, and this is where we're going to store the actual profit that we make when we calculate the differences. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down here and just make a classic for loop. And we're going to start at the second element because we're going to be comparing 
the uh, second day and the first day. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start at this element right here. I'm sure there's a diff there's probably a plethora of ways that you could do it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and have the for loop start right here because there's no reason to have it start right here because we're going to be calculating the difference of the second and the first day. So that's the reason that I chose to start it at the one right there. Uh, we're going to have it, it we want it to we want to iterate through all these stock prices so we're just going to have it iterate through the whole entire array nothing special here i'm going to increment it and then we're going to go down here and this is where we're going to calculate if the second day is higher than the first day and this is where we're going to check if we actually made a profit remember we want we don't ever want to quote unquote sell our stock it's, it sounds kind of stupid, but all we're going to do is we're just going to calculate the difference of the first and the second day and check if the uh, second day is lower or second day is higher than the first day because, like I said, we always want to sell at a profit. And we're going to need to check the previous day. And all this code right here means this I minus one is that we're going to calculate the prior day and the prior day is just an abstraction to mean we're going to calculate this part right here so we're going to compare these two places in the array that's literally all that part means so we're going to go down here and if it does calculate a profit we're going to add to our max profit and this max max profit is just going to be the difference between them because if you sell a stock that is how you calculate profit. It's kind of intuitive. So here, going to calculate the the difference between the second and the first day, and that is going to store our actual profit up here in our state at the beginning of the actual method. And here at the very end, this is where we're going to return the max profit. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy algorithm for a medium. So let's go ahead and copy it right here and let's test it out in leak code. So I'm going to go over here into the leak code terminal. Go ahead, copy and paste this over and let's check to see what we got. So we're going to go into here. Let's go ahead and run it to make sure that everything came out accepted. We'll go ahead and submit it and let's make sure that our time complexity is good. Looks like we're pretty good in terms of our time complexity on the graph here in comparison to everyone else. Let's make sure that we're running sublinear. And yes, we are running linear. This code will pass in an interview. Congratulations, you guys just solved probably your first medium. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.